I've been fortunate to witness the progress of oncology, thinking about diseases such as lung cancer, for example, where very few effective treatments were available in the 90s. And now you see the breadth and depth of options that patients with non-small cell lung cancer has dramatically changed their outcome. There's a moment in every oncology lab where everything stops. A scientist looks at a single unexpected curve and realizes months of work and millions in hope have been overturned by one simple truth. A cancer doesn't fall with it. There were hypotheses by which one could think that at some point we could help or teach or modify the way our white blood cells can fight against cancer. Unfortunately, cancer cells are quite smart or they adapt quickly. The future of cancer really begins. Not in the breakthroughs we celebrate, but in the questions we ask when things don't work. A world where biology, data, intuition, and emotion all collide together. My guest today, Dr. Ivan Diaz Padilla, is a clinician, scientist, and global oncology leader at Nipsey. Someone who has walked the full journey of a cancer therapy from bedside to the lab bench and to the boardroom. Acceptance of losing patients because it's life, and you need to definitely protect yourself or prepare yourself psychologically. How do you stay grounded in a field where the stakes are so huge? This is part of the game. Back to my sportsmanship analysis. Federer, this legend of tennis, said that he may have lost more points than he may have won and still is one of the greatest. Or Michael Jordan in basketball, he said that he failed many baskets but he's regarded as one of the greatest, if not the greatest. So taking this back to a professional ground, if you learn are persistent and resilient about the failures, take those learnings seriously and you're equipped with people, other skills to learn about those, the next mission will be a bit more successful. Have you heard of any such instances where after a rigorous clinical trial, somehow it didn't go in the direction we were hoping and the patients were totally dissatisfied? In my experience, cancer patients are the best human beings as patients. The gratitude that patient, someone suffering with cancer has towards us, the physicians and the nurses and the people in the hospital, it is something sort of extraordinary. Ivan, welcome to Drug Diaries.